is just a quick video to show some projects that I'm working on, some upcoming stuff. I really appreciate the support. Uh, but you know, what I more value and what I feel I've gained is some really good friends. You know, people before that may have been following my channel that I didn't know uh, were such great people. You know, we didn't communicate much. What I enjoy most is looking at a knife and seeing it being a specific tool for somebody. Uh, it, what they wanted, what they need, you know, it, it's, a, it's in a sense more alive. It has some character, it's some personalization to it, and I like that. Uh, something more tailor-made, something that stands out a little bit more. So for example, here we have Mr. T's knife, and he's in the military. And the first couple features were, you know, you can see the sketch out here. You know, we talk about it, what he wants. Uh, I do give a military discount course, police officer discount, uh, EMTs, those kind of things, firefighters, of course. Uh, always have, but I, I should mention that. Usually what ends up happening is the guy just wants more features and I'll, I'll just do more work for it, no problem. So the first couple features if we start to look at is there's an extra screw. Um, and that was so that if you tighten it, it is really like extremely hard to, to remove. Like you have to like, you know, you have to really snag on it. And even now, I don't know if you can hear that, it's water because I, I was just, I just sharpened these. Um, there's two sheets he wanted, one desert uh, digital cam to match his uniform and this forest one. And so on both of them they have this, this extra screw right here that is designed to, to aid in like even, I guess sort of like a lock almost. And um, that's something unique and I tried it even on my own personal arbiter. You know, I don't know if you're trekking through something, if you worry about getting caught in some trees um, or bushes. Um, you know, for me I've never had my, my arbiter fall out. Uh, but I, you know, I EDC it in modern places, and I actually exercise while I, I take breaks while I'm making knives, and I do uh, either jumping jacks and burpees, and uh, you know, it still hasn't fallen out. But like I said, that is just there because you know, this is a knife meant for someone in uh, the military and service. Uh, he wanted this sort of old look, and so okay, so here's his knife. Uh, so first thing you can see, it's he chose the elongated look. Kind of like my arbiter with that more defined uh, finger choil, but you can see it's bigger overall. And he was telling me he's gonna be wearing gloves, and uh, you know, so I wanted something that's more, you know, I guess say more overall beefy. Uh, so this is a, a larger size uh, knife for sure. It's it's got a more of a. I like it actually. It's probably my favorite one by far. I told him I wanted it. I gotta make a a prototype uh, for myself of this. Uh, so I can always have this, and you can see, uh, we, you know, we were talking simplified, less holes. Uh, it's three sixteen, so you can't put paracord. You know, it's right there on the straight area. So if you do put the paracord for a, an extra for secure, you know, perhaps your pinky, so you have a basically a four finger. Um, it's right there, so it doesn't move if you just you know, tie it tightly. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but you know, me being uh, religious, uh, there's actually seven notches because seven is the number of completions so actually in all my knives you will see seven five or eight because those are good numbers uh, five is for grace eight is for renewal so uh, i put the man jimping back here the, the big one here and then the uh, the smaller ones for the thumb right there uh, you can see so it has this really old look um so he's looking right now and it's carbonized underneath and then I carved it a little bit more just so can, on the surface, just to kind of show it. So it looks kind of sloppy, but actually there's a solid layer of carbonizing underneath all this. But you can see like there's a combination of stone washing, the look of like paint that's like been scratched off. I don't know if the camera can catch this, the light scratches. You can see them there. I mean, it hides all the nice the nice bevel work, I mean, this is basically, you know, this piece of metal has bevels all over the entire thing and it's like, you know, I think you, you lose seeing that precision and, um, you know, but, and I enjoy uh, showing that, I guess, but it's okay, you know, for the, the, the end user. I didn't really sand down any of the bevels. This is just what happens after uh, the kind of intense stone wash. So you can see the little nicks, they're there, so it's it's no washed. Um, and then what you end up with this is like kind of really old, which he really likes. He wants a really old looking knife. So, I mean, the hard part was like getting it to look old, but still look like something you bought uh, new, not necessarily like literally someone's used knife. And I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't want that, so there's an NK right there, but it's really hard to see because the stone washing just really beat it up. 
uh, there's my prototype sketch for him right down there. And uh, so he's kind of been through this journey, seen pictures of it being made. Uh, and then this is the end product. Uh, you know, my goal hopefully one day is to be able to make, you know, I like to try different things. Um, you know, it's fun. It's also like uh, a challenge and I learn. Above it all though, I want to make sure that when I do it, that everything has a, a level of precision and, and craftsmanship. Okay. So, yeah, it's pretty sharp. Uh, let me just make sure. I just want curious. Yeah, it cuts in the wood okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, so, there's that. Uh, this one is actually for a woman at my church. And uh, so you can see the total uh, difference here. Uh, if here is Mr. T's, you can see the actual knife. It's getting smaller and smaller. And, and you can see the finger hole is actually smaller. I, I went and I made all these for, because she has very has sort of narrow uh, fingers. And so thin fingers. And so you can see it's simplified. You know, weight is a big thing. It's also uh, a millimeter thinner. So this one's actually only four millimeters, so it's thinner than all the other ones. Um, so it's really light. Retention is good. Because I, I wanted to make sure she uh, she puts it in her purse or perhaps connects her keys, uh, key ring and then her keys to this. Uh, she doesn't seem to be like, you know, it's not really like someone who pays attention to that. So I just wanted the knife to never uh, like ever fall out or come out. So it's very different. Kind of like a, I don't know, like a little dwarf size one. I don't know. Explain it. It's pretty cool actually. It's one of my favorite now actually. It's it's got more small holes, smaller. Everything is basically smaller. You see. And uh, so let's see. I put the jimping five, five for grease. You can see. You know, beveled it all around, try to make it comfortable. It has that. Like I said, the person has a very small finger, but it, it's even fine for me. Um, I'm really worried. I'm, I'm going to tell the person, really, this is how you should deploy it. But if that happens again by accident, it's there. Let's see. Her knife, you know, uh, it seems girls tend to want, you know, uh, you know, they really complain about the weight. So it's 1.3 ounces, just the knife. And with the sheath and chain, which chains one ounce, uh, it's 2.4 ounces. Sheath and knife together, 4.5 ounces. Uh, so it's about the equivalent of a Yojimbo 2. A little bit more, 4.2 ounces for the Yojimbo 2, but point whatever, right? So I really enjoy that, you know, I like to see that variety, like that purpose. Uh, the one for the guy in the military, the one for the woman. You know, each one, you know, is unique. And um, I always will want to do this, and I hope that one day when, when people are out there and they see it, you know, they'll see a lot of variety, but also hopefully uh, good craftsmanship. Now, there are going to be sometimes I want to do something special. You know, I can always uh, do something similar to what someone sees, and I, you know, I show the pictures on my site, some options. But I want to do some special ones sometimes. Uh, maybe just for myself. Maybe put them out there. Uh, so here's one of them. Uh, this is going to be for me. I liked it because it. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Final Fantasy, but it kind of looks like one the lion. You can see it's got that shape, kind of like the face of a, a or an Asian like the dragon. Um, it's it's larger than all the rest, and it's kind of like that combination idea I did on the Invictus. We got this this tip for actually it's really good. This knife isn't sharp, um, but it kind of like digs into the wood, so it's like a tip you can push into the wood. The actual cutting edge, though, is is very very. Uh, the angle is really bad. It's actually built for durability because I want to stand on this knife. So I made this portion as thick as the Invictus. If you guys saw me stand on it, but it runs all the way through because you can see it's it's a tanto at the tip, and you can see the tanto is basically just like blunt. It's a pry bar, and uh, I wanted that. I wanted basically a a multi tool. So there in the front is like a pry bar which I'll sharpen it. Um, so you could literally stand and pry on this thing uh, over 180 pounds, I don't know how much. Um, and then of course you have for tactical purposes, you have this edge to hook, 
Uh, you basically control. I like this. This is like to me a controller. If you snag someone on the back of their uh, trapezius muscle, if you snag someone on the back of their deltoid, you know, right there behind that shoulder, that neck area, uh, you could drag them towards you. You know, if you catch someone's arm, bicep, you can pull and basically lead them around, and uh, it also would actually penetrate. And it's, a, and it's a nice, very aggressive tip. So it's actually a really aggressive guard right there. Um, so it has that, and then it has, of course, the recurve, uh, which I, I have to make a video about recurves, but the reason why a recurve is really good, uh, when you look at like farming, right, the karambit was originally a farming tool because when you cut really hard objects, and especially objects that might bend or move, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but you watch a video of someone cutting through Kydex, you can see them like struggling. It's almost like, it's very fearful that you'll slide or it'll just slide off, you know, and you, you lose that control. But with the recurve, it pushes what you're cutting always to into that curve. So if you push straight in and the thing is moving or you're moving, it stays forcing it to stay out in that into that blade, I guess, into that mouth. Uh, so when it comes to hard cutting, um, and also when you then slash at something, it'll it'll force it to be cut rather than having the possibility of the knife uh, or the blade slide off. So it's definitely for utility, hard use, I, I put that recurve there. And then this kind of has that straight edge for traditional cutting in a straight way. And then like I said, so you can see the multi-function there. I want to just make something fun. And uh, I have another idea for another one that, that one I'll, uh, I'll sell, this one's just for me. I'm actually gonna put handles on this too. You can see the first hole's tapped. So, you know, basically no, no corners cut, no expense. And I kind of want to do that. Make some special ones where it doesn't make any sense. You won't see anything out there like this because there's just no reason for such an overbuilt or such a complex, you know, custom, you know, small fixed blade. Um, this is a new model, a new style of handle that I'm trying. Uh, so I want something again like an EDC uh, and something but quick to access and quick to secure your hand. Uh, but this is a, uh, right now, this is, you can see there's a crazy uh, recurve here. And I want to try this recurve Tonto idea. And um, this is just going to be a one of. If someone wants it, I'll sell it. It's uh, just one of a kind, just something I want to try. But the handle I have been using, uh, resketching, I'm going to come up with a design to utilize it. Uh, like I said, right now this has more of like a, I don't know, like maybe a tactical look. Uh, the, the final version, I think I'm going to go for a more natural kind of outdoor perhaps, you know, something bushcrafty, something very comfortable. Um, like I said, I'm going to conceal carry this handle. Um, you can see the grind lines are not completed yet. You can see the it's a mess. Um, I like the plunge. It's it's got that straight look, which was I wanted. I have to clean up the sharpening notch. Go figure. That's something that's stupid. And then you can see here, like it's narrow. Well, the height gets taller and then narrower. Uh, I thought that would be cool looking, but it actually doesn't look good. So I'm just gonna make it even all the way through, so you can see the sharpie is is there. So I'll fix all that. Uh, of course, there's no front edge yet. Um, you can see it just has this aggressive jimping. Uh, there's no chance of you like sliding up because it kind of expands in, in height and it will also expand in width uh, once it's done. And then you can see here this top, actually it's basically like a top one. It, it, basically I want a fine knife in it and it stops right there on your bone so it, it, it's kind of a very very safe for that. You know, it has that kind of rounded off portion so if you slash it won't get snagged. All the task features that, you know, that I was talking about basically a really good striking point and um, all titanium construction